Let's go, another installment of analyzing your stock picks, the series where I, well, analyze your stock picks. Today we are looking at American Battery Technology Company, or these ticker symbols. A company overview. ABML is a company which plans to meet lithium-ion battery demand, specifically meeting the demand for the materials needed for lithium-ion batteries. And of course, batteries are in huge demand and will be in huge demand for decades to come because of green energy, because of electric vehicles, but also because of general energy storage. And the company focuses on three different ways of sourcing these materials. The first is recycling of current lithium ion batteries. The second is the extraction of the currently known resources. And the third is the exploration of new resources globally. I really like this chart from their investor presentation. This is the current life cycle of battery materials. Basically in this life cycle, we mine the materials, then we refine those battery create materials, and then we use those materials to produce actual battery cells, which can then be plopped into end use products. Of course, the consumer will use these products for a couple of years, but at some point, the product isn't that useful anymore. Sadly, the most used end of life option today is just for consumers to yeet their batteries into a landfill. And as you can imagine, this isn't the most environmentally friendly way of doing things. Also, as you can imagine, it is quite expensive to keep exploring for all these new battery created materials. And in my opinion, this isn't how the EV revolution is supposed to go. However, this part is exactly where ABML wants to come in. They want to see a battery as a resource. They want to close this loop. So after battery has served its useful life, ABML wants to take these batteries and see it as a resource. They want to source battery grade materials from these batteries to plop them again in new batteries. And that is pretty awesome in my opinion. I do believe we need companies like ABML who will make the EV revolution more environmentally friendly and also more scalable. So that is the gist of this side of their business, treating batteries as a resource. And that sounds quite reasonable. What is the best way to source really pure lithium? Well, looking at a battery which once used extremely pure lithium might be a good place to start. Recycling wise, the company is as of right now building a pre-commercial recycling plant, which should be able to handle up to 20,000 metric tons per year of lithium ion batteries. We can expect this plant to ramp up somewhere in 2023, and that will be quite an achievement since as you can see here, the plant isn't that far along yet. But aside from the recycling plant, ABML is also on a dual track approach. So they're not just focusing on closing the loop on their lithium ion battery recycling plant, but they're also really focusing on their own lithium resource. And that bad boy of a resource is called the Nopa Flats Lithium Exploration Project. They have access to roughly 10,000 acres and some samples of these acres were coming in a range of 360 parts per million to 1530 parts per million of lithium. I know 1000 parts of lithium per 1 million doesn't sound like much, but other properties in a range of 300 parts per million are already seen as interesting. So this resource is starting from a very interesting point to say the least, but again, this plant isn't far along either. Time will tell how, when, and what this property will turn into. Now back to the recycling business, these are the company's own internal projections and they hope to scale their pilot plant all the way up to having three plants operational by 2027 and processing up to 320,000 tons of lithium ion batteries per year. That would be insane. 320,000 tons of battery grade material would be extremely lucrative since, well, battery materials are already trading at insane prices. However, how likely that scenario is, is of course for you to decide. Now onto a financial overview. As of December 31st, 2021, the company was sitting on an enormous cash pile of almost $43 million. It had just shy of $12 million in property, plants, and equipment. They had some intangible assets. And these intangible assets, according to Note 4, mainly consist out of the water rights needed for this lithium property. Anyways, assets-wise, the company was sitting on an asset position of $60 million while having just $5 million of liabilities, 
which is extremely healthy. This company has a really clean balance sheet. Just keep in mind that this company is trading at a $750 million market cap and with their equity position of $55 million, well, you are paying effectively 14 times as much as book value. Net income wise, the company is losing about $4 million per year, but I predict we can expect this number to increase significantly as the construction of the recycling plant, but also the exploration of the lithium property continue. And that is of course because constructing a world-class facility takes a bleep ton of money. Just as with Nufamon the Graphite, if you want to become a pivotal piece in the battery supply chain, well, you gotta invest a metric bleep ton of money first. I do want to highlight this. During 2020, the company had about 450 million shares outstanding, while during 2021, the company had about 650 million shares outstanding. That is an increase of almost 50% during just one year. And with 50% dilution during one year, that means that you as an investor lost about 50% of your equity in the company. You as a shareholder need to determine the future value of a company including future dilution. So this is just something to keep in mind. The last thing I wanna highlight about ABML for this general overview is the management. In my opinion, these two are the most important players of ABML. Ryan Melsert is a former Tesla engineer and there is a lot to find about him. And since he is the CEO of one of your potential investments, he is very interesting to research. Next up, Andres Mesa, which is the chief operating officer, and he has quite an interesting background at, for example, Apple. So I hope you guys enjoy reading up on them. My opinions. And well, like I said during the company overview, I love what this company is doing. I am 100% convinced that battery material recycling is a much needed part of the EV revolution. And to be fair, I especially like how this company is tackling this problem with their dual approach. However, full transparency, ABML is not a part of my current investment portfolio, and I do not believe I will invest in the company for the foreseeable future. But why is that? And well, first of all, I do not know enough about the company to invest at this moment in time. I don't really know much about their future cash requirements. I don't really know enough about their timelines associated with their plans. And I don't really understand their competitive advantage either. However, all of that is solvable by doing way more research but I'm not doing that research right now either. And that is because I'm already balls to the walls invested in a certain graphite company called Cryptomic. Let me say that in this way, my future net worth is heavily tied to the success of Cryptomic. And to be honest, I like it that way. And that mainly has to do with the price. You see, Cryptomic is just a $90 million company with the potential to output hundreds of thousands of tons of graphite over the next couple of years. And for Cortomic to become the 10 bagger I want it to be, well, it just needs to grow to slightly less than a $1 billion market cap, which, keep in mind, is just slightly larger than ABML's current market cap. And for ABML to give me those same returns, it would need to grow to become a $7.5 billion company. That is about 85 times as large as Cortomic currently is. See where I'm going with this? For me, Cortomic is just a better failure proposition than ABML. And to be honest, I believe Cortomic is a way better failure proposition than almost anything on the market. However, keep in mind for you, ABML might just be the best stock ever to invest in. Investing is rarely black or white, and that is why investing is so freaking interesting. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I also hope you guys got some value out of my thoughts and opinions. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Peace.